Thank you, Dr. Perota, and good evening. My name is Grant Stone, and I want to take a little bit of your time tonight to talk about my prep experience and my journey here. A lot of people who are new to the prep community or who aren't familiar with it at all might wonder why it's so special. I'm here to provide a glimpse into what a Jesuit education is all about and to show you all the ways that prep is head and shoulders above the rest, how prep has molded me into the successful young man that I am today. I live in Stanford and went to school at St. Aloysius School in New Canaan, a small Catholic school where I spent nine years of my academic career from kindergarten to eighth grade. Both my mom and my dad grew up in similar school settings, so they knew it was the place for me. My dad also went to a Jesuit high school in BC High, so prep was the obvious choice after middle school. After experiencing only one school environment for so long, I knew the transition would be a bit of a challenge. Even worse, I was the only kid in my 8th grade class going to prep, which was unusual, so I was worried about making friends. My older brother enjoyed his first year, though, so I was eager to jump right in. My first memorable prep experience was my shadow day when I was in 8th grade. I was an early applicant to prep, was accepted, and went in with my brother in the late winter months to get a feel for the school environment. I was completely blown away. Prep's campus was rich with enthusiasm, energy, and camaraderie. The students and faculty were eager to welcome me and show me a great day, and after which I had no questions whatsoever about prep being the next step of my journey. I mean, I was even invited to do a few drills with the freshman basketball team at the end of the day. That's pretty cool. I was getting my first taste of what's known as the brotherhood, which is the ties of friendship and community that make prep such an amazing place to go to school. When people think of prep, a bunch of things come to mind. Challenging academics, competitive sports teams, and great college matriculation lists. These are all true, but I think it's really the people behind those statements that make prep so special. For one, prep's teachers are outstanding. All of prep's faculty members are incredibly bright and personable individuals. They go to great lengths to make sure that each student succeeds and will meet before and after school to ensure that students grasp what they're being taught. They are formed from a different mold. Additionally, I am extremely comfortable with every teacher I've had and have even developed relationships with teachers I haven't had. The fact that I can talk about fantasy sports with my math teacher or about music with my theology teacher speaks to how special they are. At prep, there is rarely a journey without some struggle and adversity. From the long and demanding commute on the train to the accelerated course load, prep has taught me how to adapt and work hard to excel. The environment of prep forces you to be proactive, and anyone will tell you that the road to success here is paved by hard work and diligence. As a student athlete with long practices, I've been forced to adapt and use my time wisely learning the life skill of time management. These qualities of hard work, proactivity, and diligence are just scraping the surface of how prep has helped me develop into the person I am. These lessons apply to everyone, though, because even if you are an athlete, there are countless ways to get involved. At prep, no one wants you to be that 2.30 kid, the student that shows up to school at 8.30 and leaves right after. People argue that there are always things to do even after the final bell rings, and it's true. There are dozens of clubs, from fantasy sports which are chair, to robotics and the prep players. There's also campus ministry if you want to get involved in school ed masses and religious events. It's really easy to find your niche and to get involved in extracurriculars, and that's just another aspect that makes prep so special. One of the most important things that make that prep teaches, however, is how to be a man for others. Being a man for others is rooted in service to the less fortunate. I do service at the Boys and Girls Club of Stanford where I help kids with their homework and supervise them in a variety of different activities like basketball, dodgeball, and more. Service at prep is often a new experience for kids and requires them to be open to new things. Once you become acclimated to service, though, it will become life-changing. Being able to walk in the door and use my gifts for someone else is a blessing, and it's an amazing feeling to say that I made a difference, big or small, in another kid's life. Service is an outlet where kids can do the modges, which is the more, in their lives for the greater glory of God. In summation, Pratt and the wonderful people within it have helped mold me into the man that I am today. They have laid out the blueprint for success and will do so for anyone who walks through the front door. I'm a three-year varsity letterman at baseball, a club chair, a freshman retreat and Kairos leader, and a volunteer for those in need. I'm a, a, I am a recruited scholar athlete, and I've committed to Harvard University, where I'll be playing baseball next fall. Most importantly, though, I'm a prep man, and I'm extremely proud to say so. Thank all of you for your time tonight, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening and your time at this special place. Thank you, and go prep.